Welcome back. The UAE ranks as the third most competitive economy in the region after Qatar and Saudi Arabia, according to the latest study by Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry. According to the World Economic Forum's Global Competitive Report for 2011 and 12, the UAE ranks 27th out of 142 countries, below Switzerland in first place, the United States in fifth, Qatar 14th and Saudi Arabia in 17th place, but higher than other regional peers such as Oman, Kuwait, Bahrain and Egypt. Moreover, according to the World Bank's Doing Business 2012 report, UAE advanced two places to 33 out of 183 countries compared to the rankings of the previous year, while the country ranks fifth in the world for trading across borders, sixth for regist registering property and seventh for paying taxes. Additionally, in 2012, the UAE has recorded the first place globally in the field of efficiency of governmental fiscal policy issued by the International Institute of Management Development in Switzerland. The Dubai International Financial Centre grew by 7% in 2011, accounting for 1.4% of the UAE's gross domestic product. This morning, the DIFC revealed their results to their Economic Activity Survey, which involved the participation of just over 66% of the centre's client base. According to DIFC officials, the first six months of this year were revealed to be more positive than that of 2011. Dr. Nasser Saidi, the chief economist at the centre, stated that the data collated reflected prosperous growth for all 878 registered companies at the DIFC. The total value added by working employees puts the value added or GDP equivalent of the centre's sub-economy at 3.13 billion US dollars, up 7% from 2.92 billion US dollars in 2010. The sectors show that financial activities remain the biggest contributor, accounting for approximately 7% rather 70% of total added value, while business services accounted for 28%, with the rest attributed to public administration, which includes the DIFC Authority, the DFSA and the DIFC Courts. So substantial contribution uh, for a relatively young centre. 40% uh, of our companies in the DIFC are in the banking and financial sector, and they contribute close to 70% of the value added. Uh, that gives you an idea about um, how productive the banking and financial sector is in the DIFC. Having said that, um, the banking and financial sector is, of course, supported by management consultants, lawyers, IT, and other specialists. Uh, so they couldn't have achieved their contribution without the contribution of the, the, the business sector. The DIFC is considered as a safe haven for investors due to UAE's political stability. Updates on the labour force during 2011, such as education levels, female-to-male ratio in addition to UAE national and non-UAE national involvement were also elaborated on. In 2011, that the business sector grew even faster, business services grew even faster than banking and financial services. I think an important message is that... Um, Unlike what is happening in Europe and the United States, uh, the banking and financial sector in the GIFC is healthy. Uh, so it's continued to grow. Uh, it's attracting more entrants, particularly from Asia uh, and the rest of the Middle East. Um, we have a highly educated workforce. Uh, fully more than 80% of the people working in the GIFC are graduates uh, or more postgraduates. A new type of social media is soon, to, is soon to be launched, which combines both social and business interaction on one platform. GoMadink.com is to unveil their new concept next week, which also boasts a unique financial model where members are recognised and rewarded for their activity, as well as an e-commerce section, an ideas sharing platform and a group philanthropy initiative. You can build up an online store where you can post your products or also your services and you can sell it using the GoMad credits. Now, look at it this way. People have many things that they want to kind of sell. Probably they have uh, some piece of art that they want to sell off. Uh, most of the time, they struggle to sell it off. They talk to people. They kind of post it on the internet and nothing happens. Now, when you are surrounded by people that you know, they would be interested to buy these things from you. Now, this is as far as a piece of art is concerned. Uh, if you look at businesses, they have got many people who are uh, kind of... Uh, following them or uh, they like the business, like the products that they sell to you. Now, if a social media platform 
offers that business to sell the product online to the people who are following them or endorsing the business, that would kind of help them to trigger more sales. The philanthropy section allows users to donate their credits to its endorsed humanitarian organization, the United Nations World Food Program, and its local partner, the UAE Red Crescent Authority. People, when they're earning money on this platform through the sales that they generate from the products and services, they can also donate to charity and uh, benefit the global community. Uh, we have signed up uh, an exclusive MOU with the uh, United Nations World Food Program, uh, which is... Uh, approved by the Red Crescent, it launched now. Here, people can actually donate to World, uh, United Nations World Food Program, and uh, every dollar that they donate is going to feed for children, and that's a wonderful thing. Sharjah Islamic Bank achieved a 21% rise in net profits in its first half 2012 results, reporting a net profit of 149.2 million dirhams, compared to 123.3 million dirhams achieved in the same period last year. Let's now take a look at the stock indices across the GCC.